The gentle and forgiving Kamai, an energetic and optimistic people, will now walk confidently through the Well of Shadows to reclaim their ancient culture and restore this beautiful land to become, again, the legendary paradise of celestial exile. This place has a lot of history and a lot of that history is quite devastating but what's been um, really amazing to see here is how much hope the people have um, and how they're looking to the future and not, not uh, remaining in the past. It's, it's um, really quite inspiring. During our time with the community partners we've seen how closely they've worked with the local authorities and understanding the community by visiting them and understanding their problems. It's not just about the design, but making small steps moving forward. Um, for me, that light bulb moment really came at our first community visit at STT, when I started understanding the role, I suppose, an empowered community has and a community that knows that it has a voice. Um, first and foremost, in making change and how sometimes um, people haven't been educated in that way or you know they haven't been told to stand up for themselves or taught how to do it and to see that sort of community advocacy work was really um, really powerful. On the island in the middle of the Mekong River we worked with the community regional development team in helping the villagers to build the road. Um, I think one of the organizations that was um, most impressive and interesting for me was CDT. Um, the way they're working with the local communities who are potentially facing eviction and future and helping them to take control of their situation. Uh, Alright, so best, best memory? Oh, uh, I think it was probably the night the, um, after we'd done the briefing with the community leaders at our um, homestay and they you know, talked to us about the Khmer Rouge and what happened during that time. And then afterwards, the, um, the chief of the village came up and just rested his head on his shoulder and gave me a really big hug. I'm not sure why he chose me, but yeah, it was just really, it was really cool. So I'm a structural engineer. Um, we've visited a few communities here and seen some examples of structural engineering and I'm coming from an education of codes and standards. Whereas here they don't really have the luxury of that sort of thing. Um, they make do with what they've got. And I think we can actually learn a lot from that. I think we over design a lot. This experience has um, definitely broadened my definition of development and the role that technical specialists can play in supporting organisations that are already doing really great work. I think it's important to send people on these types of trips because it gives them an opportunity to look at the way that uh, engineering projects have been delivered for you know, millennia really um, and see you know, how far we can push the limits as, as human beings and um, hopefully that will help you know, make our designs uh, a bit more special and a bit better in the future. Um, as a student I guess I'm really glad that this was my first exposure to Cambodia. Um, I really appreciate the cultural sensitivity that I've developed and I can see that there's so much more like surrounding everything. Everything is so complex and you really have to be careful but also optimistic and happy.